Hola mis queridos, ¿cómo estás mi amolicia? También conocido como Coneja. Bonjour Michetan, ¿cómo se va? Je m'appelle Anison, y que le monde connu sous le nom de la pan. Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Alison, also known as Rabbit. And today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And, uh, but before I explain to you what we're doing is something a little different, I want to explain just a little bit of the three photos you most likely saw at the beginning of the video. And, uh, <laughs> the three photos, actually, you know what, I shouldn't explain those three photos just yet because really, I should explain why you're seeing the, uh, the rabbit uh, hi, hi, uh, hide face cam kind of thing deal right now. There's no Dreamlight Valley today. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock, I know, but uh, I recently picked up uh, a, or not picked up, I recently started watching a certain YouTuber who happens to be a Ma Minecraft player. He's somewhat known in the herm Hermitcraft world, or Hermitcraft series, I should say, and uh, he lately picked up a certain game that he used to play on his channel, and during the, during his recent upload, it just, it got me the urge to play the game, and it made me realize that there has been a recent update to the game, and I figured, why not do a video? Because seriously, it has been a while. And y'all, I want to show you what is up with the update. <laughs> so, lo and behold, today we are playing... Has the fur! Yay! Okay, so, most likely you saw the three photos at the beginning of the video and you're probably confused and and want an explanation, or probably don't care about that explanation, I'm going to give it to you anyway. I am, I want to make sure the gameplay of House Fur on this channel is as comfortable for you as it is for me. I am over the age of 18, over the age of 21, there's going to be cursing, cussing, and adult topics. Seriously. I, I there will be top, there will be adult topics, because I'm going to be talking about quite a bit today. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I am at that point in my life where I am changing what I use in my cursing. With that, I am no longer using religious words in my cursing. Words like God, Jesus Christ, Holy, anything like that, seriously. But, here's the kicker. Even though I have been doing this for four to five years now, I have still not gotten used to it. Now, I have been asking for help on nearly all of my videos for the past year now, and I will continue to do so because I need... I need to get used to this, and it drives me up the wall that I still haven't gotten used to it, even though, as I stated, I've been doing this for four to five years. So, if at any point I accidentally slip and use a religious word in my cursing, please call me on in it, comment down below. Most likely I'll be able to catch myself and correct myself, but there is a chance that I might not, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. And as I said, if you do hear it, please call me on, comment down below. I need to get used to this. I seriously do. <laughs> Alright, so, if you have noticed, there is a spring update. So cool. So, it says here that, uh, what better way to update us with a spring update, get us out of winter, uh, <laughs> which is sad because I was really hoping to get some winter decor. This update brings a range of exciting new features, a couple of much needed tweaks to the game. Really hope you'll have lots of fun with this, have a pleasant stay in the woods. I love this house here. Um, I even saw, um, and the YouTuber I'm talking about is Wells Knight here. Wells Knight is a pretty cool guy. Uh, and his video on this house was not what I expected. He said he was going to do a modern modern day touch to it. And I was like, eh, I don't like modern stuff. And I really don't. But he ended up turning it into a countryside treehouse, which he did super well. I love it. Um, anyway, there's brand new properties located in some deep woods. 
a lakeside treehouse, which this is what the lakeside treehouse is. Players can now lay floor tiles on their balconies, which is awesome and change many of you asked for, which is pretty neat. A set of new light switches to better fit the vibes of your interior designs. A bunch of interactive blinds that will add a touch of elegance and sun protection. Mwah! Beautiful. A broad range of furniture places, or sorry, pieces, mainly in a modern loft office style. Nice for those who love modern interior. Uh, optimization improvements and minor bug fixes. Yeah, obviously. Okay, so, all right, cool. We are on the default. Yeah, and yes, there is a House Flipper 2 coming out. That is so exciting. And I did check um, that there, uh, of which DLCs I have. I basically have all of them except for the Garden DLC. And they are coming up with a Farm DLC, which is super exciting. Um, I think I might actually get that one. I'm not going to explain why I don't have the Garden DLC. Because it's, it's just a personal choice, you know? But anyway... Uh, there is one thing that I do want to talk about. Um, uh, I just want to make sure I have the word correct. There are those who have entomophobia, which is fear of bugs. And with that in mind, uh, the people, the developers who made house, house flip house flipper are aware of that <laughs> so they made a setting where you can um i think it's in graphics where is it Yeah, here it is. Display broken glass instead of cockroaches. Y'all, I hate to say it, but if you have entomophobia, this is not the gameplay of House Flipper for you. Please, it's if you love House Flipper, there you will have to go to a different channel. But if you still love my channel and you want to watch something else, there are other games that I play on my channel. Please choose a different game. But I will be using cockroaches, unfortunately. I have tried. Uh, doing, I have tried using the broken glass uh, display on my own personal play, and it was just so difficult. I couldn't find all the like the, the little tiny glasses to complete the actual chore, and just my eyesight is terrible. I'm sorry. Even with my glasses, like my eyesight is terrible. And I think the last time I got new glasses was like a year or two ago, uh, which even with like I think the last time I did get my eyes checked like they were saying hey yeah this is the latest of your eyesight it's correct I'm like well shit <laughs> that can't be right because I'm still having trouble <laughs> but anyway let's get into the game shall we um but if I remember correctly from the previous video and I did uh, get a little sneak peek of my pr previous video before I started recording just to get myself caught up with what was going on we are renovating a house. Uh, we bought a house and we wanted to renovate and sell. So let's get that done. I don't think we're going to be doing that in this. I don't think we're going to be able to sell it in this video. Just because of how slow my game is on this computer. Mm, it's not. My computer is not the best. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Uh, come on, computer. There we go. Oh, by the way, before we get into the gaming, and hopefully she hasn't left yet, Ma, I love you so, so, so much, my beautiful, my beautiful, beautiful mother, and I hope you all have a great day, a beautiful day, and uh, I know you have been having trouble with work lately. I wish you all the best, and I hope Molly is doing great underneath your desk right there. Give her lots of hugs and kisses for me. And y'all, do not be scared of what I just said there. She's a dog. Okay. Let's get going.
So, I'm actually wondering if any of you are curious as to why I use French and Spanish in my intro. Um, Spanish, basically because I grew up speaking Spanish. Um, even though the language hasn't stuck with me, because I, even though I, I did t take like three years of it in high school. Um, oh yeah, we're still in the fucking tutorial. <laughs> I forgot about. We're still in the fucking tutorial about for the game. Uh, that's hilarious. Um, but uh, yeah. So I just I grew up speaking Spanish. My parents were missionaries. Um, they started off in St. Louis, Missouri, which is where they grew up. I'm not gonna say where in St. Louis, uh, mainly because I forgot. But, uh, they, st they started in St. Louis, and they traveled down to Texas, and then, uh, and then Mexico, and then down to Bolivia in South America. And South America happens to be, or Bolivia just happens to be where they stopped and had me. And I gotta admit, I don't think my parents regret it one bit. Of like, oh shit. Of like what hap, of like what they've done. So, in their missionary work and having me and all that shit. Oh, for fuck's sakes. There we go. And it's kind of funny because like, um. Uh, I forgot what video I was watching. I, I know it was in, like, the past. I know it was, like, a week or two ago. But someone had commented that coffee is not good for you. Um. And it wasn't that it was about the caffeine or something like that. It, they were just saying that coffee is bad for you. Uh, or, or that coffee is bad for infants and stuff like that. And I'm like... I couldn't agree more, but some people do tend to feed coffee to their kids. And I have to admit, when I was a baby, my mom fed me tea out of a coffee mug. And let me be precise with you, she said, I said tea. Y'all, people are be people are like. People be twitchy. People can be butt hurt sometimes, including me, um, <laughs> and I really do mean that. Uh. There's a mobile game. I I play like so, social community based mobile games, and I'm not gonna say what they what they're called, because I'm sure you'll judge. And even I don't care. Actually, you know what? I don't care what you think um, uh, about what mobile games I play. I play uh, Game of Souls, Game of Cons, uh, Le Legends of the Phoenix. All three great games. Um, game of Cons and Game of Sultans are made by the same developers. Legends of the Phoenix are made by, I think, Ch either Chinese or Japanese developers. I could be wrong on that. Just because, like, the hours of, like, their events are different. Not to mention, the culture they use in the game is so amazing. I love it. I just, I love learning more about the the culture in Legends of the Phoenix. Why is that not... There we go. So, anyway. Um, uh, lately, like in... 
Game of Souls, there's a thing that we can do where... Oh, I can clean it from the outside? Oh, no, that, I gotta do that from the inside. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, so uh, there's this feature in Game of Sultans um, where you're able to join teams, and these teams are called unions. Um, where they get together and just have fun and battle each other out on the servers. And what's interesting is that these servers are able to join other servers as a coalition which is really cool I love that idea and uh, the developers have created this thing called coalition wars it's it's a unique theory it's very difficult to like win as it costs a lot of money a lot of in-game money sorry not real money just in-game money um, Although you could use real money to get the in-game money. A anyway, I'm babbling. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the cool thing that you can do with these coalitions is that you can merge. You can either go to them or they can come to you. Thing is, though, you gotta communicate with each other. And with me, I don't always pay attention. And if you haven't noticed, my memory has been terrible lately. <laughs> it's been terrible. So, um, when I got on Discord, this I got on the game yesterday, and checked the coalition, like my do, doing my daily. De duties and stuff like that and don't laugh because I said duties seriously although I do that sometimes too uh, and seriously lo and behold I got this notice saying hey you merged with such and such team on a different server I'm like what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck why didn't why wasn't I alerted of this and what's hilarious is that the coalition leader had been doing roster, uh, like a roster check of like who has been active lately. My dump brain, y'all. Again, I just I don't pay attention. But just anyway, is that everything on the outside? I think so. Just to make sure. Yeah. I think I got everything on the outside. Okay. So, it's just funny because, like, um, I even got on Discord because we also have a Discord server to, like, find out what's going on. And they're like, hey, if you, once, once you leave the coalition, you can also, uh, join their Discord server that they have. And I'm like, wait, what? And I just like started leaving out this long ass message saying, "Hey, I feel a little butthurt about this. I don't remember having a notice of like this merge happening." <laughs> and I just and I even mentioned like I I'm going to be I am butthurt and I want to be stubborn here. <laughs> And guess what? This morning I woke up to check Discord, and the leader was like, Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I thought, I just, I have been, go so much has been going on in my own life that I just, I 
don't always pay attention that I have not been like keeping you all updated with what's going on <laughs> and I'm like girl it's fine <laughs> I just sometimes I don't pay attention either, which I didn't say, but um, like someone from my union was uh, expressing the same thing that I was thinking, you know, and uh, just like everything was cleared up, basically. Everything was cleared up, but uh, it, it's just funny of how like the whole situation went down. But everything's good. Uh, found out that uh, some people that used to be on our server uh, in general are actually in the uh, coalition that we merge with. And I'm like super psyched about that. Because I miss them so much. <laughs> I haven't seen them in forever. <laughs> um, and I didn't know they had left our server at all actually. Because I... This actually makes sense, because I hadn't heard anything from either of the two of them, of the people that were mentioned that are on that coalition. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, you know what, let's sell this too. Oh. Wait. Okay. Oh. It's a shame because, like, plates and cups are kind of rare in this game. Um, damn, I have to sell this too, don't I? I'm not going to sell the front door just yet, because I want to make sure I have the dimensions right. Yoink! Um, it's funny, because, like, uh, on Wells Knight's channel, when he was doing, uh, what's really cool is that one of the, um, spoiler alert, one of the things that you can renovate is a train car. I'm super psyched about that. Um, and he was having the hardest time like trying to renovate it because he was like, this window's in the way. And I'm just laughing my ass off because I know for a fact that you can sell the windows too. <laughs> Um, or not sell them, but... Oh, yeah, you can sell them. Okay. Um, just because, like, I know you can put in new windows to the wall. They made, uh, they made an update where you can, um, get rid of the windows and put in new windows to the house, which is awesome. I love that. Oh, so happy. Okay, so, uh, let's get a cleaning. Ah! Uh, cause I want the house to be clean before I start doing any painting. Because, yeah, I actually want to paint before I put in the furniture. Um, this place actually does have a lot of potential. Some people actually, like, tear down the walls um, or put in new ones to this place. Which I kind of find a little frustrating. It looks great as is. So I think we're going to keep this as the bathroom. Where is... 
is the dirt in here? Okay, most likely we'll definitely need to clean the window. We'll clean the windows last. Okay. Just want to clarify that that is clean. Oh, you yuck. Okay. Okay, cool. So those dirty spots were legit just mucks. They weren't the windows. Okay, so we need to go back to the bathroom then. Whoopsie doodles. Okay. Sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. Just want to make sure I'm getting all the spots. Come on. Oh, that's the cell. Gotcha. Do do it. Do 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 do. It's still saying it's dirty. What's dirty? Oh, I see it. Okay, there we go. So we got to go back to the bathroom real quick. Ah, sorry. Dizzy, I know. Oh, I see it. Jeez, that was fucking obvious. Oh, I see it. I... Well, there was that spot. Where's the other spot? There it is. Okay. Now, we can clean, clean the windows. Yeesh. And this will definitely take a while. I guess the whole video is just me cleaning the place. And I apologize if this hurts your teeth. I'm aware this sound can be irritating to some people. It's a lot more obvious, the dirt. All right, maybe not. Come on. 
Here we go. Yoink. Do 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 Yeah. That was a lot cleaner. At least it looks like here in the renovations they're making the dirt in the windows a little bit more obvious which is weird because in the tutorial the dirt was so hard to um hello why is it not cleaning oh that's the sidewalk <laughs> That's hilarious. I the saw I thought the sidewalk was the turn. <laughs> okay, so y'all are probably wondering Um, or not wondering, y'all are probably are seeing shorts everywhere on YouTube. Everywhere. You can be happy to know I will not do that shit. Um they are entertaining as fuck for some channels. They seem certain channels seem to do it right. I, however, have no idea how to do it. And for one, I have no funny clips. As as funny as some of you might think I am, I have no idea what on my channel is funny or not. Cause seriously, I may find some things funny. But I have no idea if that would be funny to you or not. So, with that in mind, I ain't doing shorts. So, there you have it. Yoink. I said yoink. Some of you might wonder, like, where I got that yoinky doodles from. I actually have no idea. <laughs> um, I think I just like. I'm so familiar with Yankee Doodle, and I'm so used to saying yoink as well that I just figured why not combine the two, <laughs> and I just somehow just came up with that random song for it. Ugh. That, that should be a short. I won't do that. I won't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yoinky Doodle went it down riding on a pony. Stuck a feather up his bum and called it Butteroni. Jeez. My gosh. The day I created that song. <laughs> You have no idea how but how hard I laughed when I created that song. <laughs> Although I think I also rolled my eyes at myself for doing that. I was like, I'm sorry y'all, I'm sorry I shouldn't have. But it was just way too funny. I still laugh at it. It's so fucking funny. 
Ugh. Y'all might find it offensive, but just the kind of person I am, I it's funny. Oh, man. By the way, please don't find it offensive. It's it's a joke, y'all. And if you don't know what a joke is, go 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 to Drew Lynch. Go to Drew Lynch. Go to his YouTube channel. He actually recently put out, uh, he actually recently released a, uh, YouTube, spe YouTube special called, and these are jokes. Because a lot of those jokes that he made kind of cross a line, but those are jokes. They're jokes. They're actually funny. He actually made them funny. And they're actually relatable jokes, too. So many people laughed at them because he actually made them relatable. He's so fucking funny, y'all. And it's not because he has a stutter. He knows how to make y'all laugh. He knows how to make it. He knows comedy. And the best thing about him is that he knows how to get hecklers part of his part of his who his routine. A true comedian knows how to put hecklers into their skits. They don't shush their hecklers. A true comedian doesn't shush their hecklers. They don't kick their hecklers out. A true comedian puts their heckler into the skit of what they're doing. Or improvises uh, of putting the heckler into their skit. Which is incredible. And that's what Drew does. I love Drew for doing that. He is so incredibly talented. And yes, I'm brushing up his ego on this. <laughs> but that is what he does, and I love him for that. Like, you have no idea how talented he is. Oh my gosh. Did that person just give me a down arrow for cleaning a window? For fuck's sakes. Like, what the fuck was that? Y'all want a clean house, right? Do you want me to stop cleaning the windows? That woman. Now she's a Karen. Wow! She went down it. Okay. What the fuck is her problem? Okay. Is that actually all of the windows? I think that might be all of the windows. I want to double check. Yep, that's all the windows. Okay, cool. Um. So yeah, this is the bathroom. This is gonna be the dining room, and this no, this is gonna be the living room and the kitchen. And that's going to be the bedroom. Yeah. Alright, so. Um, let's actually... We are kind of getting close to ending... To the end of the video. So. Uh, let's actually start with the bathroom then. Um, what... Do we want for the bathroom? Uh, 
Um... Uh, let's do wall tiles. Ooh, this could work. Do I have the skills for doing that yet? Shit, I don't. I forgot. Do I need to do more jobs before I can do this shit? I think I might have to. Because I really want to do the tiles. I could do paint, but it would just look so wrong. You know what? If that's the case, then... If that's the case, then let's focus on a different room. Um, let's do the bedroom. So in here, we actually do need a furnace. So let's installations um uh not vertical although that would be kind of nice shit that's expensive they're both expensive Um, okay, maybe we don't put a heater in here. Like, what the fuck? Let's put the heater there. Shit, I keep muting myself. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to heating and let's do a simple radiator. All righty, assemble. Yoink. Yoink. Ah, e just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alrighty. So we are pretty much out of time. But before we say goodbye, let's at least select the paint selection. Let's get the paint selection here. Do we want to do paint or do we want wallpapers? Actually, I don't think we can do wallpapers yet, right? Let's just check. Ooh, pink and teal. <gasps> That would be awesome for a be bedroom. Not available yet. Fuck. 
yeah, I need I need to do more jobs. We'll do that in the next video then. Let's <laughs> we're not selling the house uh, but we are heading back to the office because uh, in the next video we're going to do more jobs so we can get the tiling and stuff because I, I that's that's got to be a must if we're going to sell I forgot about that completely but anyway, that's going to be it, everyone. I love you all so, so, so much, my beautiful uh, kittens and viewers. If you're new to House Looper, I hope I helped you out at least a little bit. If not, I'm not doing my job. And if you're just now tuning into this channel, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. If so, smash this like button like a kitten would. I love this door. Uh, <laughs> we still got a lot to do in here, though. Um... Where was I? Like a kitten would. And if you're just not tuning into the channel and you're not subscribed, go ahead and cl 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 click that red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as that bell icon right next to it. That'll notify you of all the videos that I do, which are on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Central and Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Central. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit. About to accept. Ooh. Uh, house to clean up. Yeah, we got a lot of jobs to do in order to get that one. Get those two things. Recently, large rooms have become popular, which has proven by the fact that my neighbor and the neighbor of my neighbor knocked out some of this. But I also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls between the living room and the kitchen and the corridor seem unnecessary. What is more than ever from across the street painted the walls in our bedroom with a bright blue sky color. I would also love to have the same. I think it's such a professional company will deal with my request at a very low cost. Fuck you, my guy. Uh, and accepting a job. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also saying goodbye. Oy. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube. Come on. Stay on. <laughs> Log in. Load in. YouTube. You see what I- Oh, fuck's sakes, I did it again. Seriously, no one has commented on what this code thing does. I would love to find out. Bye, y'all.